It's an unlikely bright spot amidst this pandemic in today's Rebound Detroit. We're introducing you to a family that unexpectedly built a thriving business out of a stay-at-home isolation pastime. Thank goodness, right? 7 Action News reporter Amira David has their story from New Hudson. The last few months have been tough on many families, especially those forced out of work. But the time spent at home has been a source of inspiration for some, including one New Hudson family who turned a nutty hobby into a business Metro Detroiters are going nuts for. For most of us, this pandemic sure hasn't been a picnic. But the squirrels of Metro Detroit might beg to differ. Feeding them, just feeding them. This is the squirrel feeding picnic table occupying backyards high and low. An idea born when this new Hudson husband gave in to entertaining his wife's squirrel feeding love affair. He made the table. My other daughter, who's in the house, made fun of him on Facebook. Danny, Lori, and their son Tom didn't know it, but that social media post meant to be a joke would turn out to be the first sales ad for what would become the Squirrel Projects. And within a half an hour, I had like 12 or 13 orders in a half hour, and I'm like, I'm not even selling them. The courts weren't looking for a new business, but the business found them. And it turns out it's when they needed it most. Because of the pandemic, the courts were forced to close their family-run catering company, canceling events, and losing thousands of dollars in vital income. That is, until they decided to lean in to what they once thought was a nutty idea. It started with just one, but now they've sold over 2,000, transforming their garage into a full-time workshop. These are all getting picked up today. And the inside of their home into a squirrel headquarters of sorts. Buyers jumping at the chance to support a local family and give back in the process. Pasta Alfredo and tarragon carrots. Remember that catering business? Those skills haven't been lost. The courts are using a portion of their proceeds to make food and deliver it to essential workers at no cost. We've done fire departments, police departments, emergency rooms, medical clinics. So far, they've donated over 1,200 meals, all to say thank you to those on the front lines. Thankfully, with the times that we had, this, this blossomed to what it is, and we're able to give back and also survive. Making it a win all around. Needless to say, the squirrels are happy. He likes his picnic table. Customers uplifted. In the times that we're in, people need happiness. I think, I think they need, you know, some hope. I think they need some joy. A community supported and a family rebounding to make ends meet. The Squirrel Projects. And the Squirrel Projects is running a Father's Day sale discount. We're going to post more info for you over on our website. In the meantime, if you have a good comeback story you think we should know about, we want to hear from you. Send us an email, rebounddetroit at wxyz.com. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News. Wow, that was cute, wasn't it, Dave? Yeah, go figure, huh? Right. People are happy and the squirrels are happy. Yes, indeed. All right, if you need help bouncing back in the wake of this pandemic, have a question, or just want to share your story of recovery, email us at rebounddetroit at wxyz.com. Well, a much